keeping up with our motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning, students. A very warm welcome to the students of Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College, Standard 4th and 5th, Subject English Grammar, Topic Adverbs. Children, today we learn the topic Adverbs. An adverb is a word that modifies or tells us more about a verb, an adjective or another adverb. An adverb tells us how, where and when an action takes place. Read the following sentences. First, Mary writes neatly. In this sentence, the adverb neatly qualifies the verb writes. Second, it is extremely hot today. In this sentence, the adverb extremely qualifies the adjective hot. Third, she very quietly walked out of the room. In this sentence, the adverb very qualifies the adverb quietly. These words neatly, extremely, very are all adverbs. Adverbs are divided into several kinds. First, adverbs of manner. Second, adverbs of place. Third, adverbs of time. Fourth, adverbs of number or frequency. Fifth, adverbs of degree. Sixth, interrogative adverbs. Now, let's learn the different kinds of adverbs. There are several kinds of adverbs. Here, we shall learn four kinds of adverbs. First, adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner tell us how or in what manner something is done. For example, the man walked slowly. How did the man walk? Slowly. Here, the word slowly is adverb of manner. Let's see the next example. The sun shone brightly. How did the sun shine? Brightly. Here, the word brightly is adverb of manner. Remember, an adverb of manner answers the question how. Few more examples of adverbs of manner are quickly, slowly, clearly, carelessly, punctually, quietly, well, hard, fast, etc. Second, adverbs of place. An adverb that tells us where the action has taken place is called an adverb of place. For example, the little lamb followed Mary everywhere. Where did the little lamb follow Mary? Everywhere. Here the word everywhere is adverb of place. Let's see the next example. The woman is sitting here. Where is the woman sitting? Here. Here the word here is adverb of place. Remember, an adverb of place answers the question where. Few more examples of adverbs of place are here, there, everywhere, up down, etc. Third, adverbs of time. An adverb that tells us when the action has taken place is called an adverb of time. For example, the train arrived late. When did the train arrive? Late. Here the word late is adverb of time. Let's see the next example. Meena wrote a letter yesterday. When did Meena write a letter? Yesterday. Here the word yesterday is adverb of time. Remember, an adverb of time answers the question when. 
few more examples of adverbs of time are tomorrow now yesterday today soon late early etc fourth adverbs of frequency an adverb that tells us how often the action has taken place is called an adverb of frequency for example my friend rarely comes to my house how often does your friend come to your house rarely here the word rarely is adverb of frequency let's see the next example he always shouts at me how often does he shout at me always here the word always is adverb of frequency remember an adverb of frequency always answers the question how often few more examples of adverbs of frequency are always sometimes never often once twice seldom usually frequently generally etc we will be meeting soon in the next video so keep learning something new every day thank you